Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the weekend reading. We're going to start with Aries. See what's going on. Quick, short messages for the weekend. What's going on with Aries this weekend? Somebody may live on 7th Avenue. I'm sorry if my heater is loud because I can't. It's cold. <laughs> and I'm in here dressed like I'm going to go play volleyball. Oh, the Aries is turned off. The Aries is over something. Or over. I feel like you're getting, like the worst of something is over. But I do feel like either maybe you're lacking confidence in something or you're turned off by something. Two of Wands in the reverse. Maybe this is something that you haven't been able to make a decision on. A lot of you are not feeling confident about something anymore. You're choosing to focus on yourself or your projects or your work or whatever it is. Perhaps even other options. There's some other options that maybe hope. Um, or oh, there's too much confusion. What's this? And anxiety connected to this King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Somebody who's just not been the most reliable partner to you. I feel like you guys have been here before. Okay. This person may continue to pursue you, but your heart has been hurt by this person. I feel like you have fought for this person because you love them, but it's too draining. I see you disconnecting from something here. And I do see you getting over it too, Aries, because we got the justice of the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be all right. Two of Wands in the reverse. I'm, I'm done with this limbo shit. That's <laughs> what I'm hearing somebody say. There may be something that comes out that helps you not to look at, look back on this anymore. Because um, I feel like you've been trying to weigh out whether or not this was a missed opportunity for you. Now, the thing you were missing out on was the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. We end it with you, Aries. So, what you going to do with this new start, with this new leap of faith or, or this freedom? <laughs> that you about to have this weekend. Have fun with it. That's what I suggest you do. We're going to move on to Taurus. Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? What's going on with Taurus this weekend? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You're resolving something. You're walking away from them. Perhaps, uh, yeah, this looks like some unrequited love here. Somebody we couldn't trust. Resolving some sort of connection. It could be with a friend. But I see someone cutting a connection out that was a source of stress and, like, burden. Like, all right, I'm done with it. Five of Swords. I think you took some time to think about what was right for you in this situation. I don't feel like you felt like you could fully open your heart up to it or somebody may, I don't know. I feel like you didn't, there could have been a masculine energy here who was either emotionally manipulative or just unavailable. Or maybe this is you saying, I don't even know if I can open my heart to this. I may be better off single because there's some things that are still imbalanced. this or maybe there were some ways that I still needed to heal but I've been kind of going back and forth with whether or not I should act on something or say something or take this leap of faith but I lack hope in it some kind of way it's like I want this new start but um, there's a massive lack of hope but you want this victory. Somebody ain't free to go after this opportunity yet. There's somebody that I know I need to give up on so that I can go take this leap of faith and move forward. But I'm still grieving another relationship or something else that I haven't let go of. Okay. It's time to move on from this unrequited love. 
I'm not sure if this is a divorce that's not final yet or something like that, but there's an opportunity here. And I feel like it's, it's resonating also with Aries reading. So maybe go check that out. But I tried this reading before and your readings, you and Aries readings tied in together. And you both are looking at a new leap of faith in a different direction and moving away from something else that wasn't so good. So your advice is to finish this chapter. Go back and finish it. Whatever this is that's keeping you from opening up your heart, this unclosed chapter, go back and fix it so you can move forward is the advice. Gemini. Bonfires. Some, some of you could be going to a bonfire this weekend. Please take me with you. What's going on with Gemini this weekend? Gemini. Three swords in the reverse. Three of wands in the reverse. Seven of wands. Well, I ain't waiting on this no more. I'm not repeating this anymore. I'm resolving this one. Lovers in the reverse. Somebody may try to... Um, Somebody who, I don't know if they walked away from a relationship before. I'm not sure if this was like a revisiting of a, of a connection that didn't work out. Somebody may have wanted to talk to you again, take a leap of faith in your direction. Or reveal that they've ended something, that they've moved on from something else. That was too heavy, too draining on them. Somebody may try to reconcile with you this weekend. This is giving a love triangle. But um, I don't feel like you got too many questions about this person, where you've been, all this kind of stuff. You're, you're blocked off to this person now because I feel like you know that this person ain't single. So you're not going there with them. There's another woman here. Right? So I don't see you... I don't see you going for this. So if this person does come back towards you this weekend, I see you ending it, and I see you being okay with that. I see that being a good decision for you, Nine of Cups. Your advice is to avoid this. Say whatever it is that you have to say when this person comes back, and I feel like that's what's going to help you to let go and stop this madness. Almost like the truth will set you free. Cancer. What's going on, Cancer, this weekend? Shuffle the cancer. Cancer. My priestess in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Cups. <laughs> the song that's playing is called Nothing Yet, but I do feel like something may be revealed. Maybe the other woman's not going to be silent anymore. I don't know. I'm going to use the Queen of Wands. Something may be revealed. You could be this Queen of Wands. Something may be revealed that helps you to set your mind free of something. And, you know, put your, put your sights on something better or heal from something that wasn't working out anyway. This could be a breakup. But there's a major detachment that's happening here. Sun card in the reverse. Devil in the reverse. 
Three of Pentacles in the reverse. It wasn't working out. It's time for you to start healing because there's something better for you. There's this King of Swords in the reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with the uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, I see you getting over this though, like eliminating this drama. There's a connection that you're walking away from. Okay, then I don't know what it is that that comes out, but you're making the decision here. I feel like this is you making the executive decision to, to go ahead and free yourself of whatever this is. Because there's something here that's going to come to the light maybe this weekend, honey. And, and you're going to see it clearly. But it brings justice to you. So, Eight of Cups, walking away from something. It was like it was hard for you to do this because you cared about this person. Maybe there was a lot of special memories or there was a soulmate connection. But now you get to resume your... Wait. Maybe you just started again. But this person is showing up at the, as the king of wands in the reverse. You know what I mean? Something here is a fail. This person felt like they missed out on an opportunity because of their philandering, okay? It was, it was a lot of unrequited love, a lot of moon energy here. A lot of you couldn't even figure out why you wouldn't just let this thing in, but I see you doing that, okay? Chariot and the Empress card. You're going to do it in style, too, aren't you? What's the advice? Yeah. You stand up for, 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 for what you're feeling, okay? You go with that feeling, Cancer. Defend what you say. I said what I said. This thing needs to be over because there's there's a part of this person that's not even open to you or they could be manipulating your emotions, okay? There's something that's not being said. Yes, they're lying. There's something that this person is lying to you about. King of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and you knew they was lying about something. Damn, cancer. I hate it. I hate it. Leo. Leo. What's going on with Leo this weekend? Leo. was turned over which is your energy five cups in the reverse star card four swords somebody's letting go of something ten of pentacles in the reverse letting go of a relationship possibly even getting over it I'm letting go of control of this I'm letting it end a lot of let it be. Maybe this was just a missed opportunity. And I'm just ready to get out of this funk. Okay. This thing maybe ended just as fast as it started. But I'm done with the drama. I'm not wasting my time anymore. I'm just going to let this tower happen. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to allow myself to move on and resolve this. And allow this new energy to come in. I see you being strong though. Um, Page of Cups. There may have been an offer that was turned down, or something that just wouldn't grow or move forward. King of Cups. This could have been a relationship that failed before someone came back to apologize. Because I knew, I feel like somebody knew that they was lying and messing around or something like that. There was an, there was an apology here, but I feel like there was still questions. There's, there's a lot of he wasn't being faithful. Is what I'm saying in this spread. Are you dealing with a cancer? <laughs> there's a lot of he wasn't being faithful um, in the spread, right? But I feel like the truth comes out. Um, and it brings justice. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Somebody may confess what they've been holding back. I feel like this queen may be holding... She may have been thinking that something has been going on, perhaps even at work. 
um, thinking about the fact that this chapter between me and this person isn't closed yet, but I'm thinking about moving on and breaking up with this person or something like that, like gaining control of my life again. But something needed to come to the light in order for the, the true detachment to come about. It's like I needed to see it for what it actually was so that I could detach from this. You know what I'm saying? Queen of Swords. So, yeah. Lovers in the reverse, two of cups. I needed to see clearly what it is that I've been given to. And what it is that, that I've been given to is the king of wands in the reverse, the king of pentacles in the reverse. You know what I mean? This truth coming out sets the record straight for somebody. Advice. Mm -mm. There's that seven of wands. This feminine energy is removing her feelings from this. There's too much that it has been left to mystery. Or it's like my gut is telling me to move on from this. I'm not happy and I need to stand on what I said. I do see someone choosing to be single this weekend. And I feel like it's the feminine energy. Virgo. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's born in April. Some of you may live in an area where it's still like cold and snowing in the month of April. Some of you uh, yeah, may be dealing with an area or a horse. What's going on with Virgo this weekend? Virgo. Two of Cups in the reverse, Four of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Why is the Two of Cups here? I tried because I still felt there was unfinished business with this person. Maybe somebody made an offer. Somebody could have either turned that down or somebody could be uninterested because there's a problem with communication or there was a lie that was told. Yeah, there's trust issues here. Like, you lied to me about something. There could be an ex energy here. There could just be resentment that still lies on the person, on the feminine energy's part. But there is a strong soulmate connection here. But there's also a sense of betrayal that someone's feeling or an ending. And it's like, I'm just ready to start over and get to where life isn't so stressful anymore. Um, someone's at a crossroads as to whether or not. I should offer something here. I don't want this to end. I would regret moving on or something like that. Like, But this person seems to be more focused on themselves and going back to the idea of this ending and this not working. Why are there so many trust issues here? There was a pause between the two of you. I feel like um, this feminine energy is very defensive. There's a desire here, but there's also a heartbreak. Like, every time I give to this, every time I come back to this, it's something. You know what I mean? So, I feel like somebody may be making a decision to detach from this. Four swords in reverse. It's like, even when we did start talking again, somebody was holding back. And I felt like, you know, maybe I was being rejected. And I thought saw this person's energy kind of slowing down. Maybe this person isn't as turned on by me anymore or something like that. But I started to feel this person pulling away from me. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. Somebody's deciding no longer to invest in this. I do see somebody holding back, shifting their focus, and um, making a good decision on this connection. The advice... There could have been a secret that came out... Possibly about a third party this weekend on the masculine energy's part. Or this may be his suspicion. Or is it or is this why this isn't gonna grow? There's some sort of injustice here. That this masculine energy is either upset about or that he's the one that put that shit down. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is on the masculine energy's part. I don't know if he's the one losing hope. 
in making things happen with this Aries. <laughs> because her heart is out of it. He's really wanting to reconcile because this person makes him happy. But Virgo, your advice is to... I, I'm seeing a, a single Virgo. I am seeing a single Virgo. Remain in control because there's too much that's left unknown about this this masculine energy. And I feel like, you know, deep down, um, this might be more of a, um, a hindrance to you. So, Libra. What's going on with Libra this weekend? Libra. Getting out of a funk this weekend, Libra. Some of you may be dealing with the Scorpio. Scorpio comes up a lot in your readings. King of Cups in the reverse. Could be a Scorpio, okay? Um, I gotta free my mind of this. You know, I feel like you're gonna finally say whatever you need to say this weekend so you can go ahead and, you know, Feel more in control. Move on. You know, eliminate this sense of stress from your life. I feel like staying in indecision about this has caused some grief, or perhaps this person returning into your life has caused some more grief, and you're starting to see something here about this relationship or this family situation that it's like, I can't grow with this person. You could be dealing with a Taurus. I can't grow with this person. Because deep down I know that they don't represent, in this case, they don't represent the King of Pentacles. They represent the King of Wands. And and, and the, with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like they're not giving enough. I mean, they may give it to you. And it may be good, but it ain't enough, Right? It's like maybe they all talk and no action. Maybe you feel a sense of betrayal with this person. Maybe they're emotionally unavailable. I just see you being unhappy with it and dropping it. It's like, I, I don't know. You see something clearly that maybe you've been in denial about. I feel like you're taking your heart out of the situation because you you found out something that, or maybe you find out something that helps you to avoid this situation and, and, and it puts you back on the right path with the temperance card. It's like a breakup puts you back on the right path. Love is in the reverse. It's like we tried it again and it just didn't work. I don't see you going for it, Libra. Advice, I think it's too much conflict, and I think you may need to avoid this. Somebody's just not willing. I feel like you've been waiting for somebody to take accountability. I see you blocking an offer. I don't see you committing to this person, but I do see you moving on. I don't see you just, I just don't see you turned on by the situation anymore. I see you taking your heart out of it, Libra. So, let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, what's going on? Pentacles, Page of Wands, hmm. Devil in the Reverse. It's two planes here.
some somebody may be looking to right some wrongs from the past. There may be a feminine energy here, a wife perhaps, who is healing from some past resentments or things failed with this person. I do see someone who's walking away. Could be a Libra. Go watch the Libra reading. But there's like no trust here. There's the other woman. And I don't want to compete. All right. This relationship is seeming like a source of drain to me. Even though it's a strong relationship, I, I'm I'm making the decision to to give up because I, there's something here that I just don't trust, and I'm ready to get out of this headspace. I feel like you two may have tried again, but it it may have been a fail. Six of Swords, it's like we just couldn't make this work. So maybe it's best that I go it alone and I just let go with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. The Devil in the reverse talks about a detachment, detaching from something or someone that may have been keeping you from moving forward. I feel like somebody knew that deep down something about this just wasn't working or I, I don't need to put any more effort into this. So I do see someone choosing to stop because I feel like there's been like some kind of pattern in this relationship. Or somebody's just wanting to get unstuck. I'm not getting enough here in this relationship. But we do end with the Justice card and the Fool. I feel like by way of, of, of slowing this thing down or ending whatever this is. It could be... There's a sense of justice that comes from slowing this down. I feel like it's hard because there's there could be family ties here. A lot of memories, a lot of time spent, things underwent, you know, but I do see someone being able to let go. I don't know if it's worth the fight at this point. The advice is to shift your focus and do just that. It could be just too much instability here. Sorry, uh, I'm about to move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what's going on with Sag this weekend? The Chariot in the Reverse, Temperance, and the Ace of Cups. Many of you are, um, you're just pumping the brakes on something. Like, I feel like it's a change of direction. I'm not, I'm no longer moving in this, in this direction that was bringing me sadness or the sense of like emotional, no, it's just codependency. Somebody here could be, okay. I'm no longer moving in this direction that was making me sad. A lot of you are choosing to say whatever it is that you need to say or tell someone that you're... you're. A lot of you may be exerting your dominance or your independence this weekend. There's someone here that may want to talk to you again, that may want to apologize to you, perhaps for either lying to you or this could be some sort of deception, cheating, whatever it is. They want to come back and kind of lay their burdens down. I feel like somebody here is looking for a sense of closure. Okay, with you this weekend. What's the temperance? Healing from a heartbreak. I think that the, the worst is over. You've been kind of, you or them have been kind of indecisive about 
starting this again, but I see someone either letting go of control or perhaps somebody lacked accountability in this situation. And I feel like the feminine energy is putting her foot down and saying, no more, I can't do this, I can't wait anymore, I'm just ready for something new, I'm ready to be free of this. Some of you could have been dealing with an earth sign or a Leo. But I'm seeing a Sagittarius who's choosing themselves this weekend. I'm just not getting enough here, you know, in this relationship. And deep down, I know that it's time for me to detach from this. Or that this it's like I can't squeeze a win out of this. So it may be best to just detach. Your advice is to recognize the pattern, okay? Which I feel like you've done already. This person's going to be mad that you turn them down, but there's justice in this, in you making this decision for yourself. So, it's like a whole bunch of breakups this weekend. What's going on with Capricorn? Some of you guys may be hit with desire this weekend or may be shocked about someone that you desire or maybe ending. It's like, I give up. Some of you may be throwing in a towel with a certain desire that you have. I feel like there's been a major loss of hope and I'm just ready to stop even waiting on this person or pursuing this person. Some of you could be dealing with Aries or um, Sagittarius. Somebody may have reconciled with someone else during a pause. I feel like somebody is in another connection that's not so healthy, but this person is fighting for them. I don't even know if their heart's truly in it, though. You may find out that somebody decides to end a relationship. But I, right now, I see it. And you know what What gets me is I feel like the moment that you throw in a the towel, they're probably going to call you, Capricorn. Yeah, exactly. This person may end up calling you and saying, matter of fact, go ahead and come over. <laughs> Something like that. Because there's something here that's not going to grow with their situation, too. I really do see somebody, like, walking away from someone this weekend. <laughs> Capricorn, I don't know how you feel about this person. You may question if they're actually single, something like that. What's the advice for Capricorn? This is not over yet. <sighs> this isn't over yet. You know that there's a relationship in this story that's not working. Or that's not going to work. This here between you and this person is not over yet. What's the bottom? I mean, I guess you can give up for now, but... Mm -hmm. So, Aquarius. Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius this weekend? Oof. The justice in the reverse. 
strength in the reverse. Six of Wands in the reverse. Could be a Leo or a Libra connected to this story. Somebody did something wrong, something wasn't fair, something wasn't right, and it could cause an ending this weekend because somebody may find out. Okay, here it is. Justice in the reverse. High Priestess in the reverse. The world. It may be over this time. Something like that. What's the justice? Damn, the chariot. All major arcana. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cards on the table. Five are majors. So this is this is big for somebody. But somebody gonna give up once they find out about this. This could be somebody who's very selfish. Somebody's walking away from somebody who's very selfish. Could be an Aquarius. Well, this is you who loses hope and stops putting work into this. Or this was something that you really desired. Somebody could have lied. And it's almost like, or I'm not moving forward with this. I'm dropping this. I'm not waiting. I mean, somebody's like, done. Okay, what was the high priestess in the reverse? Something about an X, or it could be another air sign. Generally, one Aquarius. Somebody may get rejected. Um, there may. I feel like the feminine energy here may be um, either holding back from this relationship. Or deciding to heal and make peace with whatever because somebody here has somebody else or the relationship was too on and off and I just feel like I'm wasting my time let's just not I'm tired of the drama something here it's like it was the ten of cups but it was also it's like the the bad started to outweigh the good maybe i was in denial about that when i started talking to this person again or i'm just ready to free my mind of this i'm ready for a new star i need some distance from this situation like letting go of control just taking my heart out of it lovers somebody may decide that ah Somebody's not getting enough here. Somebody returned, but their heart wasn't all the way open. Or they don't feel like they could. Or maybe this masculine returned to this feminine energy, but he still wasn't right. Something still wasn't right with him. But he was apologizing for it. And on the masculine energy side, it's like this thing ended because I can't make up my mind or something like that. So somebody is moving on. I see him moving on from this too. Just thinking about being single. Things were moving slow and I feel like somebody's heart just wasn't open to this. She's uninterested and maybe... Either he finds out something or he confesses something. The masculine may have found something else. That's what I'm going to say. Let me look at something, Aquarius. It's the only reading that was like this. What was going on? Priestess this in the reverse. Whatever comes out, help somebody to resolve this. Let this go. It's going to be a breakup when this come out. But it's also going to get somebody else out of a funk once they let go of the control of this situation. This is why I wasn't feeling good about us reconnecting. This is why I didn't feel excited about it. 
this is just an emotional attachment that I've been holding on to, but there was also some resentment that I was holding on to, too, and I'm just ready to let go of it. I feel like somebody was very drained. I feel like every time they went back, they felt drained, and there was like a sense of loss of hope or something, and like one foot, one, one foot in, one foot out, very hesitant. feminine energy is giving up. She's going silent. I don't feel like she's looking back at this partnership this time. I'm not worried about it no more. But there were some things that this masculine was not saying. Okay? It was avoiding. Six of Wands. I see an ending here. We just couldn't make it happen. The advice is we was holding on to some, I mean, maybe this was like an unhealthy desire. It's almost like an addiction that I'm seeing here. We just, it's like, it wasn't right, but we wouldn't let it in because there was such a, a strong desire for it. And I feel like she may be the one, the feminine energy may be the one who peeps it and nips it in the bud. Pisces. Oh my goodness. Where it is, y'all always give me a run for my money. What's going on with Pisces this weekend? Pisces. Two more shuffles for Pisces. One. Pisces. Page of Swords. Three of Swords in reverse. Death card moon. It's like, I saw what I saw. I know what I know. I felt what I felt. And that's enough for me to go ahead and end it. Somehow I knew this anyway. Something like that. Why is the Page of Swords here? It's almost like I felt like I, I don't know. There was questions, like in this situation, I don't trust it. I feel like I'm going to regret something here, or I'm going to regret taking this offer, okay? So some of you may be choosing, let's see. It's like some of you are trying to see through the confusion, some of you are like, you know what? I don't know if I can make this happen. I don't know if I can do this and my life. You know what I mean? Because it's too much stress. And it doesn't even excite me to have this. Even though I sense there could be the Ten of Cups between us. Or there is. But coming back feels like a burden. Somebody's looking at this love offer like, but can I trust you, though? Some of you might feel better if you just decide to do something else. Put that energy, that love, somewhere else. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Fool Guard. Fool Guard, keep coming out. That's a lot of people may not be together after this weekend. I mean, isn't it just easier to let it go? It don't feel right no more. It's not feeling good no more. It's not like it used to be. It's feeling like a failure. We don't give each other the same validation or, I don't know, love, attention that we used to. And I feel calm just thinking about being out of it. Death card. Every time I go back, it proves why I shouldn't have. Unrequited love, lack of reciprocation. High Priestess card says, go ahead. You have to resolve your sense of injury. So the in sense of, it's like the part of you that's mad at yourself for wasting your time. You know what I mean? And that's what's going to help you to walk away from whomever this is. King of Wands would be a, um, something, what, what am I saying? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
this may be a connection that's better out of your life. Okay, because I just don't see you fully in it. You know what I mean? I don't see your heart being fully in it. And deep down, it's like, yes, we're moving towards this committed space, and you're telling me this, but we can't move forward until you resolve some sort of conflict within you, because the queen of cups is in the upright, the king of cups is in the reverse. It's like, you're not even ready for what it is that you're trying to build with me. But this person is, is wanting to reconnect. Or there may have been a third party situation. It's like this person now is coming back because they have an emotional attachment to you. I don't know, honey. King of Cups in the reverse. This person may come off very cold. I feel like the feminine energy is, I don't know. She's more in like, realizing I love this person but the part of me that wants to come towards them is turned off like the physical part of it there's a lack of closure between me and this person but the part of me that wants to pursue this is not there because I'm not really happy the masculine energy seems to have a good poker face but at the end of the day he's not ready to be in a relationship I don't think this is somebody that you can grow with Okay, we got the chariot card. So your advice is to go with the news. Stop fighting for this. I don't feel like you're happy, Pisces. There's something else for you that's going to help you to free your mind. And I feel like this weekend, you're not going to wait on this relationship that ain't working no more anyway. You know? I see you disconnecting from something. And that was all the cards in the deck. The uh, song is playing right now is called Reset. I feel like that's what's happening for you this weekend. So, um, I pull a collective message from my manifestation deck. Give me one message for the collective for this weekend. One card, just one. And... We have breathe through the tension because I feel like there will be some for many of you this weekend. Full moon in the sign of Scorpio. Nine and four. Let's see. Collective. Ooh. There's a strong sexual energy around you now. The good news is that the sexual energy is very creative. After all, it leads to an act that creates humans. A tense situation could be about to boil over, so go carefully. Spend time outdoors. Spending time outdoors will help you to calm your emotions as well as increase your general your general well-being. You need to find a balance between your emotions and your sensual side. Don't deny this part of yourself. Use the energy to create what you want. Balance your ability to caress with your need to be caressed. Okay? That's 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 something right there okay balance your ability to caress with your need the being caress right when we're emotionally overheated we end up focusing on what we don't want rather than what we do want bear this in mind now and breathe sexual energy fires me up in a good way and helps me to express my creativity too i'll leave you with this everybody Love conquers all. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.